welcome back so now we'll be looking at the topic of ulsa and under ulsa firstly we'll be looking at the definition the definition it states that it is the break in continuity so it's a break in continuity and going by the second part of the definition it involves the skin or the mucous membrane now moving ahead with the definition and this can be caused due to molecular death recapping the definition ulcer is nothing but a break in continuity of what the skin or the mucous membrane and leads to molecular death looking ahead we have some classifications which needs to be done so before that let's look at the parts under parts there is margin what is margin it is nothing but it can be the types of margin can it can be regular or irregular it can be rounded or oval so these are the types of margin next we are looking at the edge of the ulsa under the edge it can one is which connects the floor of the ulsa to the margin floor to the margin is what is known as edge so the types of edges are here there is some diagrams required so if you look at the margin so this is what is the margin next looking at the structure it goes like this comes like this so this is the floor next this is the base now moving ahead we are looking at the categories that is sloping edge i am not defining it but it's well self explanatory this is the sloping edge so this is nothing but sloping edge next there is punched out edge this is nothing but punched out next we have undetermined edge It looks like this this is an ritter mind edge next there is raised beaded edge which is like this this is nothing but raised and beaded edge now there is also another edge known as everted edge known as everted edge next there is beaded nothing but beaded now going ahead there are different classification of also so we are looking that next there is yeah under classification we are going to classification under this firstly we look at clinically how it is classified so clinically you can classify it as spreading second will be healing third non healing fourth will be callous so these are the headings that is under clinically spreading healing non healing and callous 
so these are self explanatory but i'll be explaining what is callous callous means insensitive or cruel it's basically hard skinned or in other terms it is a uh, chronic non healing also now moving ahead clinically we have seen now we are going to classify it based on duration so based on the duration we can call it as acute and then we can also known uh, call it as chronic so what is acute in acute it is less than 2 weeks whereas in chronic it is just greater than 2 weeks now looking at the classification of pathological under pathological classification it is there are specific ulcers and second there are malignant ulcers third there are non specific ulcers so these are being the types now under this specific ulcers there is let me erase this under specific ulcers there is tuberculosis syphilis syphilitic actinomycosis and melanial ulcer now looking at the other category that is the malignant under malignant there is carcinomatous there is bcc that is rodent ulcer as well as melanotic under non specific ulcer this is interesting type non specific under the non specific there is traumatic ulcer and it can be mechanical physical as well as chemical and next would be the arterial ulcer that is by atherosclerosis next we have the venous ulcer that is nothing but gravitational ulcer or post phlebitic ulcer next there is tropic ulcer also also known as pressure ulcer next there is infective ulcer there is pyogenic ulcer then tropical ulcers and it occurs in tropical countries and it is a callus ulcer and it is found in it is example is vincent ulcer next ulcers to chilblains and frostbite
So under this there is cryopathic ulcer. Next there is maro martyrols hypertensive ulcer. Next there is basin ulcer. There is also diabetic ulcer. Next there is ulcers due to due to leukemia polycythemia jaundice collagen disease and lymphedema moving ahead there are also type of ulcers known as cortisol ulcers so this is nothing but due to increase duration of cort steroid creams and then the other important concept to be known is wagner's classification so under wagner's classification it is divided into grade 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so under this the examples being first one is pre ulcerative or healed ulcer second one being superficial ulcer third one being ulcer deeper to ulcer deeper to subcutaneous tissue and uh, it is exposing the soft tissue or bone and exposes soft tissue or bone next one is grade 3 abscess formation underneath or osteomyelitis formation underneath or osteomyelitis next one being gangrene gangrene of part of tissue limb or foot next one is entire one area or the foot this is gangrene So 5 grades are over. Now looking at the stages, before going I will quickly just summarize. So we left out with uh, callus. So callus is nothing but hard skinned or chronic healing ulcer and the duration we discussed is acute less than 2 weeks, chronic greater than 2 weeks. Classification pathological, there are specific ulcer and malignant and non-specific ulcers. Under specific there is tuberculosis, syphilitic and actinomycosis and Melanie ulcer and malignant is carcinomatous uh, basal cell carcinoma and melanotic and non-specific is traumatic ulcer it can be mechanical phys uh, physical or chemical then arterial ulcer arterial ulcer and under that there is atherosclerosis and under venous ulcer there is gravitation also and prosplabiotic ulcer then there is a topic of uh, tropic ulcer or pressure also and next we have infective ulcer that is uh, pyogenic ulcer then tropical ulcer is uh, present in tropical regions and uh, it is uh, it experiences callus type of ulcer and example is Vincent ulcer then ulcers in uh, chill winds and uh, frostbite under this there is cryopathic ulcer then mortarels hypertension ulcer then basin's ulcer and diabetic ulcers are also a part of the non-specific ulcers and then there is also ulcer due to 
leukemia, polycythemia, jaundice, collagen disease and lymphedema. Next there is cortisol ulcer that is increased in steroid uh, creams usage. Now talking about Wegner's there is 0, 1 to 5. So 0 is nothing but pre-ulcerative and uh, healed ulcer. First one is uh, superficial. Second one being the ulcer it goes subcutaneous tissue and exposes the soft tissue or bone. Third type being abscess formation underneath or it is known as osteomyelitis third one and fourth one is gangrene of the tissue limb or foot and fifth one is the entire one area that is foot or gangrene and next we are looking at in concept of stages stages of ulcer healing of ulcer healing under the stages of ulcer healing there is three stages the first one being stage of extension second one being stage of transition and the third one being stage of repair so under the stage of extension the ulcer floor is covered with floor as slow slough and uh, purulent discharge purulent discharge and also inflamed edge edge or margin are present next the other part includes transition so the floor it shows separated so the separated slough and then the healthy granulation tissue is seen granulation is seen and there is serious discharge now looking at the third type there is fibrosis repair stage will include fibrosis collagen deposition and scar formation as well as yeah so these are the points stage of ulcer healing the stage of extension transition and repair under stage of extension there is floor slough and purulent discharge and inflamed edge and margin are present under transition the floor is separated from the slough and there is healthy granulation and serious discharge is present under repair there is fibrosis collagen deposition and the scar formation is present now moving ahead looking at the different discharges in an ulcer so looking at the discharge types so coming to the discharge types there is serous change the color so under discharge types there is serous there is purulent there is bloody zero purulent there is zero sanguinous there is serous with sulfur granules and also there is yellowish so now breaking everything down serous it is uh, present seen in healing ulcer now looking at purulent it is seen in staph streptococcus as well as pseudomonas okay now looking at the example staph it's yellow and creamish so here it is yellow and creamish and uh, streptococcus is bloody and changing color so streptococcus is bloody and opalescent
and pseudomonas is greenish color due to pseudocyanin now coming to bloody it is present in case of malignant ulcers and also healing also from healthy granulation tissue next there is zero purulent next comes zero sanguinous which is nothing but serous and blood next is serous with sulfur granules that includes actinomycosis next includes yellowish which is nothing but the tuber cullis also so i'll just quickly summarize so here it is discharges the serous healing also purulent the staphylococcus streptococcus pseudomonas and the staphylococcus it is yellowish and cream discoloration and streptococcus is bloody and opalescent and um, the green is uh, in pseudomonas due to pseudocyanin presence and bloody is in malignant ulcers and healing also from healthy granulation tissue then there is also zero purulent and zero uh, sanguinous zero sanguinous is nothing but serous and blood then uh, serous with sulfur granules is actinomycosis and yellowish is nothing but tuberculosis also so thank you and uh, we'll continue in the second part and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to know the future notifications thank you